In this class, we'll discuss about Maxwell's fourth equation. We have already seen the Maxwell's fourth equation in the last lecture, which is nothing but del cross h is equal to j. But this equation is an incomplete equation. Let's try to understand why it is an incomplete equation. Let's assume I have a circuit like this where this is battery, there is a current flowing across that is I and this is my capacitor. Now if I take a line integral here, we know that the line integral will be nothing but h dot dl would be equal to I right because the I current is flowing across this line integral. So from the ampere circuit to law h dot dl will be equal to I. Now if I take the same line integral across the capacitor what would happen? Now h dot dl across the capacitor would be 0 because there is no magnetic field across the capacitor. We all know that capacitor will have the charges. So does it mean that the current if h dot dl across the capacitor is 0 does it mean that the current is also 0? The answer is no because the current across the capacitor will exist. It means whatever the equation we have stated in the previous video is incomplete. We will try to complete this in this lecture. Now let us try to take del dot del cross h. Let us try to understand this equation. Now can I say that del cross h is nothing but the curl and del dot of this is nothing but is the divergence of curl. We know that del cross anything is nothing but the curl, del dot anything is nothing but the divergence. So this is the curl and this is divergence. So we are trying to find out the divergence of a curl and divergence of a curl will be always equal to 0. Let us see that how? Let us assume I have a black box kind of a box. In this I have a curl it means some field lines are rotating in a circle or some rotational fields. Now if any field is rotating we know that none of the field lines will go out and none of the field lines will come in because they are rotating in a circle. If anything is rotating in a circle it will not leave that and will not come in. So it means this is a curl and divergence of curl it will be nothing but 0. This is one of the or you can say that a practical example. So del, so divergence of curl would be 0. So can I say that this equation is correct? No. Again del dot j is not equal to 0. We have already studied this del dot j. So this equation is not correct, right? So we know that this though this is 0, but it is not equal to this because we know that del dot j is equal to minus d rho v by dt. This we have studied in current continuity equation, right? We have already seen in the previous lectures. So this is current continuity equation. So how to proceed now? So what I am saying is, let us assume del cross h is not equal to j, it will have one more quantity. Let us see how. So del cross h is equal to j, I am adding one more unknown quantity. Let us see that how it is related to this point. Now I am going to take the divergence of curl. Can I say that it would be nothing but del dot j plus del dot g, right? Now this quantity would be equal to 0. So can I say that del dot j plus del dot g will be equal to 0? Can I say that minus del dot j will be equal to del dot g, right? Now let us substitute the values. If I substitute the values, minus of minus of minus d, d rho v by dt is equal to del dot g. So the minus get cancelled. Can I say that del dot g is equal to d rho v by dt? Now 
from the Maxwell's first equation, what we know that the Maxwell's first equation, what we know? Del dot D is equal to rho V from the Maxwell's first equation. We already know that. We have already seen in the previous lectures, right? So, I will apply this. So, del dot G will become D by DT of del dot D rearranging the equation. So, del dot G will be nothing but del dot del D by del T. So, can I say that G is equal to del D by del T where D is nothing but your electric flux density. So, let us rearrange the equation. If I rearrange the equation, what would be my Maxwell's fourth equation? The Maxwell's fourth equation, if I rearrange, let me write it here, it would be del cross H is equal to J plus G and I can know that what is G? G is nothing but, so we have proved the Maxwell's fourth equation which is del cross H is equal to J plus del D by del T. Now if you want to understand how this equation has taken care of this point, we can understand this. Now this can be understood this, I can rewrite what is D, this equation will be nothing but let me rewrite this. Del cross H will be also written as J plus D will be written as epsilon naught T. So, it will be nothing but epsilon naught. Right? I can rewrite D is nothing but epsilon naught T because we know that we have already seen this. Right? Now, you know that now it is an electric field. It depends on the current plus electric field. But at this point, when you will try to conclude del cross H, there will be an electric field exists. So, this quantity, now we have proved that at every point, so del cross H will be J plus epsilon naught del, del E by del T. So, we have proved the Maxwell's fourth equation and this is also called as Maxwell's corrected equation. We will see more on this in the next lectures.